Let's all start with the facts. 90% of the countries worldwide limit abortion at 15 weeks or earlier, but not the United States. You've heard that we're one of only a handful of countries, China, North Korea, that allow abortions up to the day before delivery. Our laws are outdated. A lot has changed since the court's ruling in the Roe case. 50 years ago, we didn't have ultrasounds and sonograms that were readily available. And now these techniques are indispensable. And they're part of that prenatal care that women have. 50 years ago, babies that were born at 28 weeks were not expected to live. But now, because of scientific advances that we have, these babies are going to survive and they're going to thrive. The laws that we have should reflect that incredible process and progress that we've made. In Nebraska in 2010, I was a member of our state legislature. In Nebraska, we have one house. We're a unicameral. There are 49 senators. And in 2010, we passed this country's first law that recognized that at 20 weeks, babies feel pain. And so we passed a 20 week, 20 week pain capable unborn child protection act. 49 senators in the body. We had 42 that voted. We had 44 that voted for this law. Now we had Republicans and Democrats vote for it. In fact, we had pro-choice Republicans vote for it. We had pro-life Democrats vote for it. We had a former National Democratic Committeeman vote for it because we understood that it was common sense, that these are children, children that can feel pain. And it was our duty, our responsibility to protect those children. The Nebraska law has never been challenged. Tomorrow we're going to hear the beginning comments on the Mississippi case. And I, too, am, am thankful that the Supreme Court is taking that up. Because it's important to recognize that because of science, because of technology, things change. And we need to recognize that it is our duty, our responsibility as a people to protect lives in our country to protect those most vulnerable in this country. So with my colleagues, I, I hold the justices in prayer. I hold this country in prayer. And, and I am looking forward to hearing the discussion. And I am really looking forward to a verdict that recognizes that all lives are precious in this country.